Hello again everyone, Aaron here from Saturn Cloud. And in this video, we're doing a head-to-head -head distributed random forest showdown. Apache Spark versus NVIDIA Rapids. Spark is a cluster computing framework written in Scala that executes on CPUs. Rapids is a GPU data science framework where all of your data manipulation, your machine learning code executes on the GPU. So it's a whole lot faster. And using Dask, we can parallelize that code across a cluster of machines that each have a GPU or even multiple GPUs. So for the benchmark, we're gonna take a random forest model, the same exact data, we're using same size clusters on both sides, and we're gonna see which one runs faster. Let's jump in. So let's start with Spark. Here I've got an Amazon EMR cluster, which is a Hadoop cluster that has Spark configured on it. And I have 20 nodes of R5 2X large instances. These are machines that have eight CPU cores and 64 gigs of RAM. They cost about 50 cents per hour for each node. So I've got a Jupyter Lab running on the head node and we'll go ahead and initialize Spark. So there's a few settings you have to set with Spark so you don't run out of memory and to make sure you're maximizing the memory of your cluster. And in that case, I set that here. And then since we're reading CSV files, we have to specify the schema because the schema inference with Spark on CSVs is really slow. So we'll do that. And then we're reading three years of New York City taxi trip data. This is a record for an individual taxi ride, and we're predicting the fare amount, so how much the taxi ride might cost based on attributes of pickup. So since they're individual files, we have to read them each with Spark and then combine them together afterwards. And at the end, we have 300 million rows, so a little bit more than 300 million rows. So it's a good size data set to test out our distributed random forest. So we'll do some feature engineering here and then combine everything into a vector that the Spark ML package requires to do your machine learning. So at the end, we have 3 million, uh, 300 million records that look a little bit like this. So these vectors and numbers. So we'll go ahead and kick off our random forest training. We're doing 100 trees with a maximum depth of 10. So decent sized tree, nothing too crazy though. So we'll let that run for a bit. And as far as diagnostics from Spark, I have a Spark UI open from a previous job that I ran because this one's still running. So we see a bunch of tasks here. We can try and uh, click through and, and see what's running on each one. We can see a little visualization of what's happening um, across the cluster. It, sometimes it's hard to completely tell like which different pieces are going in where, but you can kind of dive in and, and see what's happening a little bit there. So a bit of a spoiler, this is gonna take some time. So I've actually run this ahead of time before this video. And when the whole thing trains, it takes right here just under 37 minutes. So 37 minutes to push 300 million records through a random forest with 100 trees. All right, cool. So now we're gonna jump over to the rapid side. So for rapids, I'm running that inside of Saturn Cloud. So Saturn Cloud here, we have our Jupyter server workspace, which has our Jupyter lab with all of my packages that I might need to do all of the fun PyData stuff here. So I'll go ahead and open that up. And now we have our rapids notebook. So with Saturn Cloud, it's really easy to launch clusters of GPU machines and then get Dask and Rapids configured on them. In this case, we can even specify the specs of the cluster right from within our notebook. You can also do that from the UI, but it's nice to have it right here. So in this case, for the GPU nodes, we're asking for G4DNX large instances. So that's a bit of a mouthful, but those are machines that have an NVIDIA T4 GPU on them that has 16 gigs of GPU RAM. So you can also launch machines that have V100s on Saturn Cloud, but in this case, I wanted to keep the cost comparable to the Spark cluster. So these are also around 50 cents per hour for each node. So comparable. What's really cool though, is you have 20 nodes each with a GPU. So you're just paying 10 bucks an hour for a really, really strong GPU cluster. So that's pretty cool. And since we're parallelizing with Dask, we got all of the nice stuff that Dask does for parallel computing. We have the Dask dashboard right here and then a couple extra pages to monitor the, the GPU utilization. So I already have those preloaded up here and we'll run some stuff and then see things happen. So it's a little bit simpler to load the CSVs here because we're using Dask and Rapids. We uh, specify the same files, but then we can use one single read CSV command and then we pull in all of our 300 million records. We're doing the same feature engineering and then we convert the floating points to 32-bit precision and then at the end, we have something that looks like this. So these are all of our features. It's nice because it still stays in that data frame um, object, and then we can pass that to our random forest. So 
And let me slide this over and we'll see what happens on the cluster as we run this random forest. So there we go. And it's done. <laughs> so if you blinked, you might have missed that. Let me run this again. We're running the, the same exact random forest we were running on Spark. So 300 million records, 100 nodes, 100, I'm sorry, 100 trees, maximum depth of 10. So watch this right here. This is our C GPU utilization graph. So we'll run that cell one more time and you'll see that light up real quick and then it's done. So that's pushing through the same 300 million records through a random forest of 100 trees. So go back to our spark timing that was 37 minutes Whereas with Rapids, we do that in one second. And how? It's because we're executing on GPUs. GPUs are just insanely faster at number crunching than CPUs are. And Rapids makes it really easy to use. And then Saturn Cloud sets up your cluster for you. So just as a recap, I'm gonna show you, oops, what we were just looking at. So here, random forest, head to head, 300 million instances, 20 node clusters on both sides. Spark, we were using clusters that had eight CPU cores, 64 gigs of RAM. Rapids, we were using clusters that had a single GPU, 16 gigs of GPU RAM. And we created some features, converted categorical to numbers, and then we ran a random forest regression. 100 trees, same size on both. And here's our feature engineering time, about a minute for Spark, 20 seconds for Rapids. And then the random forest was 37 minutes for Spark. And then Rapids doesn't even quite register on the graph because it's just there in one second. So that's really great because if you don't have to wait 30 minutes for a single model fitting, you can iterate on your model a lot faster. Think about hyperparameter tuning, thinking about trying different models, think about if there's a bug in your code, you're gonna have to go back, rerun it again. That can easily amount to days if you're using the Spark way where you have to run, wait 30 minutes for each run. Whereas Rapids takes a second. You can run a whole bunch of different features. You can get a much better model because you can try more and iterate more. So that's all I've got. As always, if you want to check out Saturn Cloud and run this for yourself, go to saturncloud.io and you can get going with a free trial on your AWS account. Thanks for watching.